Live breaking news. Right away, an arrest has been made in the deadly house explosion and fire in San Francisco. It all comes as we're getting new details about the investigation. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Dion Lim. And I'm Dan Ashley. The home is on 22nd Avenue near Noriega Street in the sunset. We know the explosion was powerful enough to knock two homes off their foundations and level one of them. San Francisco police say the suspect is 53-year-old Darren Price of San Francisco, and he's been booked on multiple charges, including drug manufacturing. We are also getting a picture tonight of what might have been going on inside the home where the explosion occurred. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns has been working this story for us all evening. He joins us live from the scene. Uh, Tim, what are you hearing? Yeah, Dan, Dion, now it has been more than 36 hours since this explosion, and there are still so many unanswered questions. We are learning more and more. Thanks to Dion, ABC 7 News has obtained a partial copy of the police incident report with some stunning new details. Neighbors continue to clean up their homes Friday evening following the deadly explosion in San Francisco's Outer Sunset neighborhood. The extent of the glass that was in the house was unbelievable. We filled up two garbage cans you know, uh, of glass and we're still picking up glass. But while residents are piecing together their lives, investigators are connecting the dots on what actually happened here. A partial police report obtained by ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim sheds light on some of what we know so far. According to a victim statement, it says a couple occupied the house along with their two children who were at school at the time. The woman was disabled and was often assisted by a caretaker who was in the basement doing laundry when the explosion happened. The report says the caretaker was able to make it out alive, although she did sustain major injuries and is being treated at a local hospital. The man was arrested on Friday night and booked into jail on multiple charges. The woman is thought to be the one who has died. She didn't have no legs, her arms were up like this, and the body was completely charred. Those who live nearby describe the pair as being very private and keeping almost exclusively to themselves. The incident report also laying out conversations authorities had with neighbors. One saying they smelled marijuana coming from the house and recalled seeing the man hanging a plastic tarp over one of the couple's doors. The report also stating that narcotics were found inside the home along with wiring and some unknown substance. On Friday morning, an ABC 7 News team spotted authorities removing canisters from what's left of the home. We we later learned that those canisters had a connection to the Daly City BART station being shut down for several hours during the day after one of them began to leak. One of the items that was being transported started to hiss. The driver of the vehicle pulled over, called 911. Now, investigators say it will be some time, maybe even a few more weeks until we have all the answers in this case. But until that time comes, we will continue to wait for more information. I'm in San Francisco, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News. Mm, so many more questions to be answered. Tim, great stuff out there.